All right. Well, good evening. Good evening. Good evening to everyone. Welcome to the Revitalized the Total Woman podcast. I am your host, Lakeisha McKnight, your senior coach. Welcome to this exciting show that goes live every Tuesday and Wednesday around 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are live. I'm live actually tonight from the lovely city of Hampton, Virginia, here in the United States of America. It's 8.06 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Right now, we should be live in the Women of Elevation group on Facebook, and we're also live on Spreaker and iHeartRadio, as well as the womenofelevation.com's website. And so the whole purpose of this particular podcast show really is to empower women, okay, to empower women, you know, with the tools to be able to create, relate, and elevate so you can walk in your God-given purpose and truly live your dream lifestyle. That is the purpose, once again, of this particular show. And so it is representative. It is a, a true media outlet for the nonprofit based out of Chesapeake, Virginia, entitled Women of Elevation Career Services International. And I do want to encourage each and every one of you ladies out there to go ahead, check out the website, see what we have going on. We are in a, we're in a mode of being able to open up registration. And for those of you, if you're tuned in right now, you should be able to actually get there. Let's see here. I'm going to put in, uh, let me see, the relate. Let me actually put it in here. I'm going to test it out myself just to make sure all is well before I go ahead and uh, give you all a website. I want to make sure before I give it to you that it's all well and good. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Check a couple things first, guys. Looks like we're good to go. Looks like we are good to go. Once again, I want to encourage you to visit a website so you can learn more about the upcoming Telesummit event. It is actually relate dot actually relate hyphen telesummit.com. Relate hyphen telesummit.com. We're having a panel event where myself uh, and my husband, as well as two others. Okay. We have two others. And if they want to bring their husbands on board or their significant others, they can. We're going to talk to you about singlehood. We're going to talk to you about marriage. We're going to talk to you about dating, all of these elements, these stages of being able to build in strong, healthy, personal relationships. And so if that is what you're looking forward to for yourself, we encourage you to go ahead and register for this free event. Again, relate, R-E-L-A-T-E, hyphen telesummit.com. That is how you can get there. And so it, it leads me, of course, to sharing with you how uh, during the month of May and June, that was a focus area for the nonprofit to help you all with your personal relationships. However, in the month of July and August, uh, the tone does shift a bit to talking about professional relationship building. More specifically, during this month of July, I want to really focus in on helping you to build your uh, team relationships. So building healthy professional teams. So for these fo- for those of you who are bar- a part of corporate teams, maybe you are a part of a business team and you want to really truly build a healthy business team, I'm giving you some nuggets on how to facilitate that. And so one nugget that I do want to share with you tonight is the importance of commitment. Commitment. Yes, indeed. Now, what I do want to share regarding this is that commitment to the purpose and values of an organization, it does provide a clear sense of direction. You see, because team members understand how their work fits into corporate objectives and and they agree that their team's goals are achievable and aligned with corporate mission and values. You see, commitment is really the foundation for synergy in groups. You know, individuals are willing to put aside personal needs, you know, for the benefit of the work team or the company. You know, when there is a meeting in the minds on the big picture, you know, this shared purpose provides a backdrop against which all team decisions can be viewed. You know, goals are developed with corporate priorities in mind and team ground rules are set with consideration for both company and individual values. You know, when conflict arises, the team actually uses 
alignment with purpose and values and goals as important criteria for acceptable solutions. So what you're going to want to do to truly enhance team commitment, it's important that leaders consider inviting each work team to develop team mission, vision, and value statements that are in alignment with those of the corporation, but reflect the individuality of each team. You know, these statements should be visible and and walked every day. Now, once a shared purpose is agreed upon, each team can truly develop goals and measures and, and, and focus on continuous improvement. And then also celebrate team success at important milestones. So I'm going to recommend that, okay? Go back, check it out, get together, you know, create focus groups for different areas within your business, and then let those particular groups create, I would say, many mission statements for that team, for that department, all right? And so hopefully you all understand the importance of commitment, again, because again, I mean, let me repeat it one more time. Commitment to the purpose and values of an organization, it does provide a clear sense of direction. And we need direction to know where we're going, right? And so that's just like with life. We need direction on how to navigate this life. And so I want to encourage you all to definitely remind, you know, your team members about the mission of your organizations because it's going to help you press forward even through difficult moments and challenging times, just like what we're in right now. So again, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Revitalize the Total Women podcast. Uh, We're going to be back with yet another nugget uh, that's really going to help you all to enhance your professional team relationships. And so again, I look forward also to to really sharing great value, myself and my other uh, partners, sharing great value on July 21st, 22nd, and 23rd Okay, as we plug in to the Relate 2020 Telesummit event, the Relationship Mastery Telesummit event. So remember, guys, go ahead, ladies, go ahead and register for this free panel event coming up on July 21st. You want to go to relate-telesummit.com so that you can be a part. So again, I appreciate you all. Thank you so very much. Be blessed. And we'll return on tomorrow evening for the second episode of the week. Take care, everyone.